everybody. If you remember, my name is Rachel and I'm a dietitian that works for the Cambridge Public Health Department. And in these videos, we're talking about the harvest of the month or a different vegetable that we're highlighting every month of the year. So for November, our harvest of the month is kale. So excited to talk a little bit more about why this is such a super veggie. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with some fun facts today. Number one, did you know that after a frost, kale actually tastes sweeter? That's because the cold temperatures actually force the plant to convert some of its starch molecules into sugar, resulting in that sweeter taste. All right, number two, did you know that kale is actually related to a bunch of other really commonly eaten plants? like Brussels sprouts and broccoli and cauliflower and bok choy? That's because they're all part of the same plant family called the Brassica oleracea family, more commonly known as actually the cruciferous vegetables, which you might hear. All right, number three. Did you know that some types of kale are even used in floral arrangements and bouquets? That's because different types of kale grow their leaves in different colors. And not just green, but white, pink, blue, lavender. You can see kale leaves in all different colors and they really are beautiful. All right, number four and our last one. Did you know that there are over 50 different types of kale? That is so many different types of kale that we can try. Some of the really common ones you might see in the grocery store are the dinosaur kale or curly kale Russian kale, and even cow kale. So look for the different types next time you're at the market or in the grocery store. All right, now that we're all done here, let's go do some cooking. All right, so it's time to cook. Today what we're gonna be making is a kale and a white bean dip, which we can use with veggies, or you can use with crackers, or you can even use it as a spread, like you would hummus or mayonnaise. All right, so let's get started. Number one, we all know we have to wash our hands first before we handle any kind of food. So you just do about 20 seconds under some nice warm water, get your hands nice and soapy. And when you're done with that, wait, I got mine all nice and clean. We're gonna come back to our workstation and we're gonna start with our kale. So with kale, you can use a knife and chop it up. Um, we all learned some safe knife skills but um, it's actually just as easy to just use your hands and kind of tear the leaves off of the center ribs. So you can see that really bright center rib running right down the middle. That part of the kale is gonna be really hard and too chewy. So what we want is just the green part of the leaf. We're gonna go ahead and just tear right alongside. And if you get any of the rib in your tear, you can just go ahead and use your fingers again, take it right out. I got a little bit there, looking good. So we'll do one more just to kind of see how easy that is. It's a fun way to help out in the kitchen. We don't always need to use knives. Oftentimes our hands work just as well. All right, so get rid of that. We've got a nice little pile of kale here. We're gonna use about five or six leaves of kale in our recipe today. And we could chop it up a little bit more, but we're actually gonna use a food processor to mix everything together. So we don't really need to chop it up anymore. All right, next thing what we're gonna do is use a can opener and then drain and rinse our white beans. You can use any kind of bean. I have navy beans for this, but if you like garbanzo beans or if you like butter beans or anything like that, go ahead and use those instead. So, we are going to just rinse it under the water. We've got ours ready here. We're ready to go. We've got one can of white beans. And then for our lemon, what we're gonna do to get it nice and started is just push it gently into the table and roll. That's gonna release some of the juice inside so that it's easier for you to squeeze. We've already got our lemon juice from one lemon squeezed out and ready to go. So we're gonna skip that step right now. We also have some olive oil that I've already poured out. We're gonna use all together. And the last prep thing that we have to do is just one clove of garlic. Just 
give us a chance to practice our safe cutting skills again. So remember, if you're using a knife at home, you want to go ahead and go get an adult first. And when we do cut, we want to make sure that we get our fingers on our non-cutting hand nice and tucked behind. So our bear claw, if you remember. All right, so we're going to chop this up nice and small. But again, we're going to use a food processor. So we don't have to get it as small as I would cut it for other things. Because the food processor is just going to take care of that for us. All right. So we have all of our ingredients ready to go. Now we're going to use the food processor. All right. And we're just going to toss things in and we're going to mix it all together. All right. So we're going to throw our garlic in first just to try to get that nice and small. Gonna throw our kale in to get that nice and chopped up. Oh, I can smell the garlic already. So good. I love the smell of garlic. All right, we're gonna toss in the rest of our ingredients now. So we've got our one can of white beans. Got our lemon juice. Right. And then we have our olive oil. Okay. All right, that is looking delicious. Let's get some veggies and crackers and try this out. Did you know that you can eat kale raw? You have to massage it first. Not because kale is stressed out, but because this helps to make the kale more tender and less tough when you chew it. So what we're gonna do is, we have our bowl of kale here. We are going to just drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top. You can also just put a little bit of lemon juice in or vinegar and we're just gonna use our hands and we're going to rub the oil in evenly on all of the leaves and just rub it through with our hands. It's gonna turn a different color, a little bit brighter green. You're gonna feel it get just a little bit softer as you do this. And you don't wanna to go too much and make it mushy, but you will feel that crispiness go away. Okay, well, that's all that we have time for today. So thank you from your friends at Cambridge in Motion and the Cambridge Public Health Department for listening in to our Kale Harvest of the Month video. I hope that everybody learned something. I hope that you had some fun. And I hope that everybody is looking forward to trying some fresh or frozen kale sometime this month. Happy November. <laughs>